Jon Stewart, in his mission to satirize the news, was too successful. Ultimately, his work resulted in the proliferation of the news comedy format Ad Nauseam, a conglomerate that has become large enough to resemble the thing they set out to mock. Let's start with news networks. They too were victims of their own success, meaning that their success made them betray their ideals. News started out as a much humbler, servient profession. Sure, it was still partisan, but there was a whole lot less of it. And it carried some form of values, including truth, independence, fairness, and impartiality. But in the 60s, this changed. News networks realized that by getting advertisers involved, you could make heaps of cash, hand over fist, fist over mics. And there's a lot of nuance that I have to skate over here, but in essence, those values of journalism, the reason most got into the game, they're squeezed in the 24-7 news cycle. This was one of Jon Stewart's main premises in The Daily Show, that the 24-hour news cycle is a system that is antithetical to good, honest journalism. And the media in general, you said it yourself, it is, it's focused on conflict. It's focused on creating drama and a false sense of urgency. For better or for worse, the 24-hour networks are now the leading light of our information age. 24-hour news networks are built for one thing, and that's 9-11. In the absence of that, they're not just going to say there's not that much that's urgent or important or conflicted happening today. So we are going to gin up. We are going to uh, bring forth more conflict and more sensationalism because we want you to continue watching us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even when the news doesn't necessarily warrant that type of behavior. And in this ecosystem, Stuart thrived precisely because he wasn't a journalist. He's there to throw popcorn at the TV. He's there to mock sensational dialogue and insincerity. And The Daily Show finds enormous success. But Stuart made a mark beyond himself. In the wake of his success, The Daily Show turned out satire hosts the way SNL turned out comedians. The Daily Show's original correspondents now correspond almost completely to the current comedy news programming. John Oliver, Samantha Bee, Stephen Colbert, Jordan Kepler, there are a glut of these, all Daily Show apprentices. And many of these have found a lot of success, which has had ripple effects across late night, who are scrambling to compete with what is working. Jimmy Kimmel has found his political vocal cords, and although he sounds very earnest, isn't that good timing. Jimmy Fallon tried it on, Seth Meyers show has gone political, and SNL has raised their already politicized show to a fever pitch of grandstanding. The list could go on. So let's summarize. We've got a bunch of really successful shows making money hand over fist that are all competing for the same eyes, reliant on corrupt, crazy, sensational things to happen every day to make into theater for their nightly shows. Line up all these shows and they start to resemble something, something that would garner spitballs from the back. They all sound the same. Spoken like a guy who's suspiciously worried that racist presidents don't get statues anymore. <laughs> Is Donald Trump a racist? I'll let you decide yes for yourself. America might be white supremacist. So in my opinion, this has everything to do with race. They can be hypercritical of political villains and apologists for political allies. Thank you, Stephen. That's what I love about America. You know, it's the only place where a secretary of state can be put on equal footing with a screaming cantaloupe. OK, fair enough, fair enough. Are you concerned about the news that Russians may have hacked our election? No, Hillary lost because she didn't campaign in the swing states. Moscow, it's a red state. <laughs> Come on, we okay, know it is. I understand. No, I understand. I understand. They've become de facto journalists serving many Americans their news, and they've become political actors. Don't vote for Stephen Harper. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Don't do it. Satire news became what they beheld. They overdramatized the absurdity of politics to make headlines. They pandered to a political party instead of at least trying to be centrist. And during slow news days, with so many political comedy shows, what can they do but to use Stewart's phrase, We are going to gin up. We are going to uh, bring forth more conflict and more sensationalism because we want you to continue watching us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even when the news doesn't necessarily warrant that type of behavior. All of the things that Jon Stewart set out to ridicule in news networks, all are failings that his own protégés have. And that is the tragedy of Jon Stewart.
I'm not. I think so. I think so. If I'm wrong, I'm joking, obviously. <laughs>